Shearline Precision Engineering have opened up more possibilities for more complex work by investing in Open Minds Hypermill software. Simon, what a machine shop you've got here. Really, really busy. You can see everyone's working away. So what was the reason behind the investment of the Hypermill software then? I think one of the main reasons that triggered triggered us getting the Hypermill system was that we were already using a, a quite successfully an existing CAD CAM package. Mm. But when it came to the top end 3D scanning simultaneous work that we required having invested in a Matsura MX330 only a few months ago, the current system had its limitations. So after a fair bit of research, we came to the conclusion that Hypermill filled our needs better than any other system that we could afford to purchase at the time. So what is Hypermill going to do for you then? So of course, it's kind of servicing your full simultaneous five axis work and that kind of higher, more complex work. But on top of that, what's it going to do for your guys on the shop floor? And yourself. Well, we're, um, we're very hopeful now that the, the cycle times, set times will be decreased somewhat. We always have our, our programming suites right next to the machines. and We use our same top end guys that do all the programming, setting, mythology of fixturing and the running of the machine. So as they're right next to each other, all programming, alterations and everything can be done in a quick time and haven't got to go back to an office and then a liaison between people to do it. So. It's kind of almost like they're taking on board the whole process of that part. It's like they're, they're more responsible from that part because they're programming software you know, right next to the machine and then they're working on the machine as well. Yes, we do find that a much better system now. All our guys are, are top end and programming like that because they know they're seeing it through from start to finish. They're invested in it more. We always tend to get a better quality product and a better understanding of how that part's being machined rather than having three different people do it. So it works better for us. So Tom, yourself and your colleague Harry did the Hypermill training. How was it? Yeah, it was good considering the circumstances of the situations that we're all in at the minute. Um, we had two three-day sessions so far. We've still got another one to go. But um, yeah, no, we, we feel like we got on quite well with it. Everything went quite smoothly, to be honest. Now, you started here at Shearline as an apprentice and yes. you've grown here. Yeah. Do you need to be uh, or have, say, a degree or be a really qualified engineer to be able to understand this technology? Uh, definitely not a degree because I don't have one myself. <laughs> um, and I'd say, I would say no, that you don't, you don't really need it, to be honest. I mean, I, I had the benefit. Of, I've been programming on our other software for four and a half years now. So the transition, I thought it was going to be a lot harder but actually was pretty straightforward. And yeah, Harry, as you speak about, he's only been here two years as an apprentice and his programming knowledge is very low. He's doing a good job, but he's still got a lot, lot to learn. And um, he picked up really, really easily as well. You're the apprentice here, Harry, and you were chosen to go on the course. So how was it? Uh, yeah, I found the course uh, very interesting and I feel like it's helped me massively um, for my confidence and for my ability. But Harry, you also you work on a three-axis machining centre, and now you're able to do so much more. Yeah. So uh, with features of Hypermill, I feel like it enables me to work on uh, fourth and fifth-axis machines. Um, the collision check feature of Hypermill will do wonders for my confidence. I feel like it um, will enable me to have like confidence in my program. Um, the fact that I can simulate it through beforehand and check to make sure that no collisions that could happen. Um, obviously, there's always a small chance that something could go wrong, but I feel like Hypermill uh, negates any sort of issue that could happen. And when you were on the course, what features are you looking forward to using with this software and how is it going to benefit you as an engineer and your growth? Yeah, I feel uh, one thing I'm massively looking forward to using more and setting up more is the tool library. I feel like that will enable me to speed up my programming process massively. Having all my tools saved there already, ready to go, uh, will introduce time off programming uh, quite significantly, I feel. Uh, I feel like before, most of your time, uh, it can be spent setting up uh, like uh, your tool paths and that sort of thing as well. But with Hypermill, you can sort of save like a preset of how you like to have your tool path set up. So I feel like that will just enable uh, me to program a lot quicker and be more efficient with my time in the and workplace. And how was the training? Uh, the training was very good, yeah. So far, uh, I've been on two courses, like, uh, two three-day courses, the part one and the part two of the training. 
Uh, the part one uh, obviously was the kickstart of it. That was quite a steep learning curve. Uh, first time touching the software, so uh, yeah, I mean it was all very good. The second part was uh, I felt a little bit more comfortable. I'd had more time uh, in between the training courses to have sort of a play with it as well. Obviously, I haven't really touched and delved much into the capabilities as of yet, but I'm really looking forward to being able to uh, use it to its full capabilities. And are you looking forward to using this? Yes. Yeah. I mean, we've we've done a couple of jobs on it already now, um, and I think the difference shows. Like, you, you're quicker doing everything because it's so much simpler, and a lot of the features that we didn't have in our old software, but we do have in this, it helps you along the way. Okay, let's talk about some of those features then. You know, let's talk about the detail. Explain yeah. to me some of the features and how that's going to help you in the future. One of the big features that Hypermill's got that our current software doesn't have is machine simulation, which not only is that collision checking, but that's also, it's giving you a nice visual representation of how everything's going, so. And what does that yeah. do for you as an engineer then? Puts your mind at ease a lot more when you're watching something through that's, you especially on five axis you know is going to be tight if you've seen everything on there if the holders and all your fixtures set up correctly and you know that there's nothing gone wrong then you're it's down to you yep. to make sure that it's right on there so it's kind of taking provided... a bit of pressure off you as oh, well oh yeah yeah massively massively let's talk about some of those features then the tool library and selection how's that easier to use yeah well we did have a tool library on our other software but it was not very good so no one used it Whereas with this, the tool library, from what we've seen so far, it's going to be really helpful for the fact that we've got three machines with very large tool capacities. We can use the same tool but spread it across the three so that all of the functions remain there. Um, and you can apply all sorts of different cutting data to the tools and use that uh, in different tool paths, which will be good. And, yeah, I mean, you've mentioned uh, avoiding collisions, and of course yeah. that's a great part of it. But also, you know, you're cutting parts with tight tolerances. Is yeah. this software helping you even more yeah, so with that? Yeah, I mean, again, another feature is the tolerance in on, especially on the 3D tool paths, the tolerance in function that's on there that you can adjust is a massive help to us. And um, I think as we start to see more of those complex parts that made us want this software, we're going to reap all of those benefits, to be honest. So in your opinion, someone who does have Hypermill and then someone who doesn't, what advantages are you going to have over them? Well, I think the real big advantage is that the, the ease of use and the amount of effort that goes into it producing such top quality components can be reduced so you can get much more uh, involvement from people further down the tier levels of programming. Um, it seems to have everything that we want in a top end system and it's proven product so that's the way we went with it. Does this help you in your business promote capacity? What, what's that going to yeah, do for I, you? I mean, I, I think ideally, if you've gone to the trouble of investing in a £300,000 plus machine tool without having the programming suite to go with it, 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 it it's a bad, a bad move. So now we can offer our customers not only a top-end machine tools, but also top-end programming suites.